Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm going to teach you everything to do with basic data manipulation with CubeJS, such as persistent data and NBT tags. Now I'm not going to be writing too much code in this video. I'm just going to be copy and pasting little bits, explaining it, and then showing you what it does. But anyways, let's get started. Now I got a comment about this recently. So I just quickly wanted to go over it. But someone asked me why I set up my variables like this instead of like this. And the reason is because if you wanted to have multiple things like this, it would take up multiple lines, as you can see. However, with this, you can just go ahead and declare everything from a single line. And as I showed off in one of my other videos, you can go ahead and refine it down even more. So now we can grab just the entity from the target so you can get the property from the object. You can go ahead and you can even do that multiple times if you really wanted. So if I only wanted the entity's position, I could just do something like that. And there you go. Now for my first example, I just wanted to show you how to do a simple flip-flop tag on an item with NBT. So as you can see here, we're seeing that if it's not in the main hand, we're going to return. And if the item's NBT is undefined, meaning it does not have NBT, then it will set its NBT to empty. That's very important to add, or else it'll do nothing if it reads that it doesn't have NBT and it tries to add it. Next, we're just checking to make sure and seeing that if it's not 1, then we make it 1, or else we make it 0. And that's like the most basic flip-flop you can do in coding. And then here we're just seeing what the result is, and then adding a cooldown to it. Anyways, let's see the results. Yeah, as you can see here, it's just working. Next, we're gonna move on to entities. Now, NBT tags with entities have been broken since 1.18, it seems. I've tried everything. I've tried getters, setters, merge NBT. I've even tried, like, forcefully pushing things to the entity data list. I just, it, it doesn't work for some reason. So for that, you have to use data or persistent data. So here we're doing the same thing. We're just checking to see that if the persistent data doesn't exist, which is test here, then we're going to set it to one and then a basic flip flop and then read the results. But anyways, let's see what this does. Yeah, as you can see here, it's like flip-flopping between 1 and 0. And if I go here and edit do cube.js, persistent data, entity, zombinis, get star. You can see that it is flip-flopping the data that we have on our player. And persistent data will persist between leaving and joining. As you can see here, oop, zombinis get star. There you go. Now for players, you can actually do something a little different and use just data. Now this doesn't have the persistent part, which means that if you leave, it'll just wipe itself. So this can be useful if you just want temporary data on a player. As you can see here, we're flip-flopping between data. Now, non-player entities have the biggest weak spot because NBT tags don't seem to work on entities in general and they don't even have normal data. They only have access to persistent data. So if you're trying to do like zombies or like 
creepers or anything else. I would just use persistent data. It's not the most ideal, but it does work. So I actually had to change the script up a bit. I accidentally had a return up here instead of setting it. But as you can see now, it's working. Now I'm going to quickly show you how you can change already existing entity NBT. You can't make new ones, however, or at least from what I tried. Here, I'm just setting no AI to 1 and 0. Make sure to use merge NBT instead of nbt.merge or anything like that for entities if you want to change their tags. And as you can see here, when I click them, they just completely stop responding and they don't move. You can't push them, they don't move. I right click them again and boom. I hope this was enough for like a basic understanding and I hope you enjoy. Not again!